Hello and welcome to this episode of India Inc. 2.0. I'm Nantara Rai. Today I'm coming to you from Kalabar. Kalabar has been founded by Sameer Modi, the son of KK Modi. Incidentally, he's behind me testing out all the various cosmetic products right here. I'm going to go interrupt him and start the interview. Thanks Sameer for joining us here on Thank ET you. Now. You come from the KK Modi family, one of the largest industrial families in the country. Not cigarettes, but makeup. How did that happen? Well, I, uh, 12 years ago, I was looking for a new business. And a business that was exciting, challenging, and something that uh, would be impossible to achieve. Okay. And one of the industries that came across was cosmetics. A uh, high amount of cannibalization, congested space only run by multinationals, um, plethora of product, innovation. I said, if you're going to dabble in something, you might dabble in something where you're going to fail. Did you fail initially? Initially, it was tough because initially I was following this, the FMCG model, like Lacme, Revlon, Maybelline, and we started expanding into large amounts of outlets. In four years, we covered 2,800 outlets, and uh, I found that this was not working. Mm. So we, and we had Indian product, we had uh, packaging, we were younger in approach, younger in our look and feel. And, uh, so were you like a shop and shop at that time? Or? We were completely shop and shop. Okay. Um, but then I decided, you know, this is not a product I'm going to recommend to anybody. It will make good business, it will make good money, but neither my wife, neither my daughters, neither my friends are going to use it. So I said, let's shift gears, uh, let's start shutting down stores. So we started shutting down stores and we brought it down to 400. And we said, we're going to get full service. So all our stores were going to be manned by beauty advisors. And we will not make Indian product. Okay. We'll go to the best uh, manufacturers in the world. The only criteria to buy from them, they got to be make for a Mac, a Bobby Brown, a Chanel, a Tom Ford, a Huda, a Charlotte Tilbury. As long as they make for them, mm. I'm going to buy. But then if they make for Mac and uh, they make for all those brands and Chanel, etc., then why is it that Calabar is so much better priced or more competitive in pricing? Well, that's that's uh, on my philosophy. I'm Indian. I want to make a give opportunity to Indians. I believe in women looking beautiful. I don't think everybody can afford a Mac uh, or a Bobby Brown, at least in the Indian context. And my margins are far less than them, but I'm hoping that in the near future, Kalaba will become bigger than the top brands of the world. So talk to all the ladies that are watching you right now, all the users of your cosmetics. Would you say that Kalaba, to simply going by the pricing, is as good as, let's say, a Mac or a Bobby Brown or a Chanel, or there is a difference in the quality? There is no difference in quality. You can walk into a Kalaba store, pick up our eye pencil, go to Mac, pick out the same eye pencil of theirs and it'll be same. Go to Bobby Brown, the lip liner, same. You go to an Urban Decay, our eyeliner is the same. So we truly believe in giving the best product in the world. I'm going to ask you something and please don't take it in a bad way or, or, or consider me to be rude. I said you're from one of the largest industrial families. You're from a Marwari family, Modi family. You said you're willing to <coughs> make less money, have less margins than multinational companies. Isn't that against the ethos of uh, the culture of the kind of business families you come from? It is, but I'm... I'm or you're going to play a volume game and you're going to try to be smarter. I'm a rebel. I'm known as a rebel. I'm known as a challenger. I'm known as the black sheep. I'm known as not following the... I thought the your wrong... brother was the black sheep. He's the black sheep in the wrong manner. Okay, He, <laughs> he goes under everything and you don't want to get involved. I, I'm a black sheep in terms of uh, different thinking. For me, making a brand, making a name, uh, creating brand value, making a difference, creating inner beauty is far more important than just making money. Uh, mm -hmm. My father makes enough of it, you know, takes care of lifestyle. And you never wanted to join his business? You were never interested in Godrip? I, I started my training in tobacco. I spent uh, close to eight years in tobacco, then did cleaning products. But my father said, he runs tobacco, so there's no way I'm going to get any chance to have my own sale. And so I started Modi Care, um, which is today the largest fast growing company in the world. I started Calabar after that. 
sorry, 24-7. So really, all the brands that we started, either they're in a new space, or they're in a space where multinational is good, desi is bad. <laughs> so that was what you were looking at, right? So tell me now that Color Bar in this Aftar has been around for a few years. Where are you in the pecking order in terms of market share? We are number three. Uh, there's Lakme, Maybelline and Nanas. But we have the smallest footprint. Okay. We are uh, 80 odd stores and 1100 shopping shops. Lakme is 70,000, Maybelline is about 35,000. So in per square foot sales, we are very, very good. In terms of image, we are as good as your Max and Chanel of the world. In terms of pricing, we are very competitive. In terms of ambition, we are up there. Uh, what so what is your vision? Where is Color Bar going to be five years from now? Hopefully, buy one of the top brands of the world. So uh, you have plans for overseas as no, well? No, we're going to start going overseas this year. Um, we're coming to a new change in Color Bar. There's a new look, new feel, new packaging. That is one reason I have the confidence. And the Color Bar team, I mean the makeup artists, the back-end team, I think they're one of the best in the world. Mm. So that gives me the, the confidence that uh, uh, we can beat the likes of all these players who are the big daddies. But they also have serious money backing them. Money doesn't make the world go round. Mm. People will come if you build. Okay. It's all about the thinking. It's all about your thought process. And you were mentioning to me earlier, you guys are, you guys are using lipsticks from Color Bar. And if I looked at two years ago, you'd probably have a Mac in your bag, right? Mm. So change, quality, options, those are the reasons why we, Color Bar will be successful. You said you have plans for overseas. Uh, can you tell me which are the markets, the countries you're We are at? right now small presence in the Middle East. We're getting to the Middle East, the whole of EU. Uh, we're looking to open London in the next one year, uh, Singapore, Thailand, and Hong Kong. So everywhere but North America and South America? <laughs> A bit far to start with, yeah. but I'm, I'm hoping that in the next couple of years, in, in order to meet our global ambition, we can't exclude uh, South America and North America. And are you profitable? Recently. Uh, we are, I think, one of the most profitable cosmetic brands uh, domestically. Mm. And year on year, we are getting more and more profitable. So how will you fund this expansion? Internally, we have enough internal crews and back borrow steel. No IPO? <laughs> back borrow steel is a very bad thing to say right now. <laughs> uh, well, well in, in its own way, money is available. Hmm. The, I don't have a problem with money. I can expand slowly, uh, but I don't believe in borrowing. Okay. It's not something that I... It's a from a bank or from family? From anywhere. The family doesn't believe in borrowing. We don't, and I don't own shares. I don't borrow. So... Uh, make your own journey. If I borrow from the family, I am their slave. I don't like to be anybody's slave, so we'll use Color Bar's funds. Okay, and on that note, Samir Modi, we're going to take a short commercial break. Stay tuned, you're watching India Inc. 2.2. We're coming to you from a Color Bar store. On the other side, we'll get you a sneak peek into the new collection. Welcome back, you're watching India Inc. 2.0. I'm Nen Tara Rai. Today, I'm coming to you from a color bar store in New Delhi. There are now 80 such stores across the country and the founder, Samir Modi, is in conversation with me. Samir, I believe there's going to be a new collection which all of you are very excited about. Give us a sneak peek. So the new collection is truly based on fun. It's based on non-makeup. Non-makeup? It's not floozy, it's not cute. It's not uh, something that is feminine. It's that everyone can relate to. Okay. So it's a circus collection. Circus collection. Uh, okay. It's a large collection. So like, like, like red, big red cheeks. The I mean, the imagery is all red cheeks. This, the I mean, I love it. I mean, it's, it's, it will be for youngsters. It will be for teenagers. It will be for adults. Anybody who wants to feel young, huh. come try the circus collection. But do you think there'll be takers for it in the Indian? I mean, of course, you think there'll be takers for it, otherwise you wouldn't launch it. But it's a big step to be so innovative or out there, crazy Lady Gaga types. I mean, we don't mind being bold. Bold is uh, one of the flavors that we believe in. And if you walk into any of the color bar stores and you see any of our makeup artists, they're bold. <laughs> they're bold in their, in their persona, they're bold in their makeup. Mm. So from that point of view, 
it works. You're also bold. You're wearing nail paint, and each one has a different color. Well, this is our new circus collection. Okay. And I believe in trying every product. You try every product. Every single product. Lipstick I try on my hand, not in my lips. But I, <laughs> besides that, I try every single product. And uh, I'm known as Mr. Mom at home. And one of the things is that I spend more time on cosmetics than any other product category in the world. Hmm. I spend an average of three hours a day researching, either on the net or in stores or in my travels. So I'm extremely, extremely passionate about it. Okay. And, uh, so besides trying it on yourself, does anybody else that you trust who will try it out for you and give you feedback? Family, my two girls, my wife, uh, employees, uh, friends. So the product needs to just come out well used before we launch it. And on the other hand, the, the manufacturers are making it for uh, the luxury brand. So they've already tested it. Mm. Yeah. So they've done the groundwork for me. They've done the dirty work that's for right, you. That's right. Yeah. When you say that the same bunch of people manufacture for Bobby Brown and Mac and Chanel, etc., there's no copywriting, there's no infringement. The formulations are owned and developed by the manufacturers. In the early days, it used to be by the brands, but that changed. Asset light. Uh, asset light. And in some cases, you can't do the same color. You can do 98% close to the color. You can't yeah. do the same packaging, of course. Yeah. But the formulation is the same. We don't say all our colors are the same because a lot of our colors are focused for the Indian skin tone. Mm. So we will, for example, pick up a Techno Cold formulation of MAC, but we'll do different colors to MAC. Mm. Um, eyeliner, only three colors predominantly work. Black, blue, brown. brown. So yeah. we'll bring those as shades, uh, nail polishes. We have probably the largest collection today and 200 plus shades. Mm. So there is no other competition there. And yeah. In fact, most cosmetic company uh, boardrooms, you'll find color bar. Yeah? yeah. I mean, we are debated on a weekly basis. So if you are number three, you already told me this, in the country, who's one and two? Lakme and Maybelline. Oh, so they have a first move advantage in distribution as well. Distribution. We don't want to do the distribution at all. So they are 35, 50, 60,000 stores. So on a store basis, the volume is large. If I had that many stores as well, I would be probably bigger than them. You know, you have 80 stores now, Samir Modi. We've already established that. I would imagine these are perhaps in the bigger cities. Like, for example, in NCR, you have so many of them. You don't have any visions of maybe penetrating the market, going really into the small towns. I cannot believe that, you know, girls in small towns and almost villages don't want to have nail polish or, no, or lipstick. I mean, we won't get into the villages, but we Obviously are... Obviously not. Okay, well, the, the smaller towns, the really small towns. Well, in between our shop and shops, which are about 1178, we predominantly cover a large part of India. Hmm. We cover all the malls, we cover all the department stores, and we cover most of the top uh, mom and pop stores in the country. Hmm. So we are fairly, fairly uh, nicely spread. Okay. Uh, and I think that we are, we are in a good space. We are in a good space. So if you've only got what uh, Lakme and Maybelline over you, that means you're already beating Mac, which is what the you know the the rich girls like to use or what they talk about. Yeah, I mean we in company-owned stores we are the largest hmm. among all brands in India, in terms of uh, being bigger or smaller to a Mac or Bobby Brown or still or group company in India, we are bigger than them for sure. You said uh, you're also a lot about boldness. That's a good way to also differentiate the brand because a lot of uh, makeup guys want to go in for sleek or gracefulness, right? Uh, it's changing. It's changing. I mean, Max a bit of, about both. It's about yeah. boldness. It's about catering to everybody. Uh, Bobby Brown is far more sophisticated. We want to be young. Quirky. Uh, quirky in some ways, innovative. Because we bring a lot of innovative products to our uh, portfolio. And we have more hunger from the point of view the team is hungry to achieve. So are you then your best uh, brand ambassador since you try everything? I can see your hand right now. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I think I'm a, I, I'm a big consultant to women who want to know what to wear and why. But the biggest brand ambassador for Color Bar is the Color Bar team. The Color Bar team. Yeah. But do you ever go to like a party or a dinner and they get hounded by all the ladies on the trends and things like that? A lot, a lot. So, no, except for my wife and children don't ask me any questions, except give me 
uh, adverse advice uh, <laughs> the critics I, it's, it's a it's a good industry to be in it's a good industry. you said you were a rebel and your initial journey you had to then start shutting down the stores etc talk to me a bit about that because you know, someone watching from outside it's just you just see one success story and things only looking rosy and going up but you know what was your antidote for success what was your mantra for success it was one thing I believe in is copying I mean copy 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 I'm not saying take a Mac and put color bar on it but I'm saying go where they make do mm. what they do and hopefully do it better mm. so that's been just one mantra has been that second has been the risk of opening our own store so when I first opened our store in select city people say you're mad it won't work mm. where is a mystique brand gonna open a store and who's gonna come so I think slowly the team literally believed that if we do things differently we will make a mark um, initially Kalaba wasn't known now everyone I meet say oh I saw Kalaba oh I'm using Kalaba so users are increased uh, spread has increased uh, exposure has increased and I think quality and innovation hmm. have uh, truly come about and when people say we are similar to Mac I say yeah we brought it similar to Bobby Ron I say yeah it's the same I'm not ashamed to say they did a good, good job they sourced right and I uh, capitalized on the sourcing. I'm going to ask you this question because I interviewed her for the same series in Dang 2.0, Ms. Falguni Nair, who was you know, the country's largest investment banker, one of them, with her daughter who started Nika. Do you think you had an early idea that now others are imitating or getting into? I think that we have the right idea. It's not an early idea or a wrong idea or a bad idea. I think the idea we have of, or the approach we have, in inner beauty, in making the woman feel confident. We believe in the concept of palette, that you can do your own palette once you leave the makeup mirror. And I think that has, is working for us. Before I take a short commercial break, you say you also try out your cosmetics, you're crazy about cosmetics, nothing for men. Men are now getting more and more obsessed with their own care, nothing for them? Uh, in fact, we are on the cusp of launching our own men's line. Okay. So it's called uh, Reborn Every Morning. And I'm hoping that by Diwali, all our stores will carry a decently sized skincare line for men. Okay. And that's the start. Huh. And I agree. So what is it, like a shaving cream or? It's a toner, cleanser, beard maintainer, uh, shaving cream, uh, skin uh, night cream, day cream, anti-aging, aging. You've got a thing that reduces the girth of your stomach in, what? The, in the shower. So, I mean, there, there is a. Reduces the girth of the shower? Okay, we, let's find out that's also going to be for the women, or is it only a men's only product after this short commercial break? Welcome back. You're watching India in 2.0. I'm Nan Tara Rai. Today, coming to you from a color bar store in New Delhi, my guest is the founder of Color Bar, Samir Modi, who before this commercial break was telling me he's going to launch a product for men that's going to reduce their girth. What does that even mean and why isn't it for women also? Well, we're starting with men because men have a tendency in India to have a, a decent belly. Yeah. And women can use it because it is unisex. Uh, you use it in the shower and after wetting your body and it energizes the... Uh, enzymes in your stomach area to burn fat and therefore over time so is it ayurvedic no it's not ayurvedic so it's actually made in italy huh. uh, all our skin care is made in italy all our uh, cosmetics are made in italy germany france and the us hmm. and korea now in japan hmm. so it's, it's just one of the innovative technologies that you is tried it did it work I'm trying it. You can see my, <laughs> my, my girth is slowly and steadily disappearing. Would you say it's because of that? I said because of everything. I mean, a bit of this and a bit of that. Okay. And also, I think being in the makeup industry uh, is really not uh, uh, kosher to be the size I used to be. So, are you very conscious of that? Like, have you had to work on it? A little bit here. Hmm? A little bit here. Would that have been the toughest part of the color bar journey? No. I mean, the... the Toughest part has been dealing with my, with my father and my mother. Really? Uh, so being in the family business and 
doing a, a makeup brand initially was very tough. Did you have their blessings or did you have to? Yeah, yeah. I finally got their blessing. But initially, my father came and said, you can't do makeup. And uh, I'd already produced uh, 16,000 pieces. So that was a challenge. But it's okay. Time, time is uh, the proof uh, in the pudding. Samin Modi, you know, you now have founded Color Bar and it's clearly on the cusp of even bigger success. You have the 24 by 7 convenience stores as well. But are you also conscious of the fact that one day maybe you have to take over Godfrey Phillips? I'm not, I'm not fussed about it or I'm not hoping it will happen, not happen. There are three of us in the family. I'm only focused on... But I would imagine that Lalit Modi may not be able to come back for some time and take over Godfrey Phillips. I don't know if your sister has ever been involved in the business. But I think you don't need to be in India or Delhi. Businesses are run now, uh, no matter what country you are in. Mm -hmm. So that is not my driving force. My driving force is the three businesses, Modi Care, 27 and Calabar. How do we become global entities on their own? And hopefully, we'll be bigger than Godfrey Phillips. The reason I'm also asking is because we know we are a business news channel. Godfrey Phillips has been a multi-bagger. I'll tell you, I've been trying to get an interview with Mr. KK Modi for a long time on the multi-bagger story. So you're not conscious of the fact that you may have to inherit it at all? No, I, I, I'm involved in it on a, on a corporate basis. I'm involved in a strategy basis. I'm involved in the board. Uh, I'm involved in the vaping side of the business, uh, which I was driving. So it, I'm not worried about that. My main concern today is that this year, the businesses in which uh, Kalabar 27 and Modi Care are, is on its own going to be 2,000 plus crores. Oh, OK. So, so that uh, is a decent sized business. How is 24 by 7 doing? There must have been a Philip that would have come with the government regulation when they said it's OK for them that shops can be open 24 hours a day. But a lot of the go state governments haven't taken that up. Well, it's still not a reality. Yeah. Uh, government has said it. It's not a reality. You still have the rules, regulation, and the red tapeism. But we are uh, very, very gung-ho. Uh, we are right now 70 stores. We'll be 100 by June, 170 by March. And we're opening one new store every one and a half days. One new store every one and a half days. That must be, a, that's, that's a massive expansion plan. It is, it is. Because so are you giving franchise rights or what? No, this is all run by the company. Owned, managed, and run by the company because we want to give the right experience. We don't want any dilution in the experience to the customer. Since we are a 24-hour business, it requires a different skill set. Yeah. And we believe in perfection. We mm. believe in perfection. For example, uh, this is one of our pouches. Um, I took the inspiration from Prada. Okay. And it took us actually two and a half years to find the material, the supplier, and produce it. Reverse engineering. Reverse engineering, absolutely. And today, I think we're quite close. Um, I think Prada is at uh, 300 or dollars for this size, and we had 300 odd rupees for this size. Wow. Huh. So imagine their markups, yeah. but uh, again, it's, it's our promise of giving the right quality product. And this is also Italian? No, this is out of China. This is out of China? Out of China. We're perfected anyway of That's getting right. everything That's of Prada right. and Louis Vuitton right. and Fendi right, right? That's, right? That's right. They took two years? Two years, but we couldn't get the right Tetron. It's not that we went to the Prada manufacturer. Uh, we just couldn't get the right Tetron, then the Zip, then the Tagging, it's just mm. eight components. Mm. I think we've done a good job. I think we've done a good job with it. Talk about Modi Care. You said it's the fastest growing company now. I took over, I started the company 20 years ago. I took it over two years ago. I gave it up 14 years ago. And uh, I took it over at 60 crores. This year we closed at uh, 640 crores. Mm. Uh, Wow. Next year, we're looking at, I mean, 2018-19, we're looking at to close at 1,400 crores. Uh, we are getting 70,000 new consultants joining every month. Okay. Uh, and we're providing independence to large amounts of people. We've got now 40, 50,000 people who are earning over 1 lakh rupees a month. Hmm. My top consultant earns 12 crore rupees a year. Okay. Uh, so that business is again booming because it's all about azadi. It's all, all about financial azadi, it's all about azadi of the mind. And one of the concepts that uh, we are building in our companies is miraki. Mm. That Greek word is do whatever you do, bring love and innovation and creativity in the things you do. And the whole concept of soch. Soch badlo, khud ko badlo, dunya badlo. And that's working for us. And you sound like a politician. Um, and uh, Modi Care event is all about, Modi Care is all about that. Talking about really things differently. I mean. We are just launching our, our circus collection. 
So, if you look at it is bold, it is has a uh, colorful graphic yeah. and, and for those people who want to have fun, there is the nose. <laughs> So it's it's uh, it's a it's a bit of everything. It's a bit of everything that comes in, huh. and it's our 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 endeavor to really really create a circus. Uh, really create a circus. With that, Sami Modi, I'm going to thank you very much for inviting us here and thank for this you. very candid interview. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it.